Um, but as I said, I thought we were very good tonight. Uh, the structure was good, I thought, you know. And um, it's just a pity that they haven't scored a, a goal for open play, which is a little bit frustrating, but, you know, hopefully they'll come uh, very soon. You know, but I thought we were very good. Um, real good team performance. Obviously, there was some good individuals, but certainly collectively, I thought we were very good. Um, shape was good, balance, distances were right. And that's the most important thing with football. So, yeah, may long it continue, on to the next one. We were certainly glimpses tonight. Um, you know, I thought our shape was much better. But every game will give you a different different problem. Um, the only thing, obviously, I thought you created so many good opportunities in the score. You know, we hit the post, I'm not sure how many times in the first half, which was a bit frustrating. Because you can see a little bit of tension set in a little bit, in, but that's, that's natural. When you, when you lose like you did on the weekend, we're going to get a little bit of that. But we'll take one step forward and um, try and go from here. I don't think it affects us on the weekend at all. I don't really, but obviously, it just gives me a little bit uh, better understanding of some of the players. Um, there was a few eyebrows raised, but um, I, knew, I, just, I knew what uh, I thought it was right to do. So let's see. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, coach. Let, let's let's talk about um, your your response um, today. A um, couple of changes that you made. Um, also, the intensity. One thought maybe it would change in the in the second half um, after the way you were coming. Um, just more on your tactical plan on the day um, and and the combination that you brought from Saturday. Well, you know, I want my team to play with a with a much much more pressing style. I mean, I don't know, you know, that's what I like and that's what I want. I want higher energy, you know, uh, distances must be equal, um, you know, from a football perspective. So, you know, we haven't been very good at that. But I, I do, I do, I, it was one thing for the players, we play two day games in 30 degree heat, which is very difficult to play that type of style. But when we play a game like the Zimu, you know, we were so much better. Uh, and I think it's a better game of football. So, you know, I've always said, the night games are much better in the PSL than these day games. We've got a couple coming up when it's in the mid thirties of temperature and it's hard to, to, to play with a style of you know where you want to you know high energy, good pressing, good distances, you know, and these type of things. So yeah. Um, we all get you know, we're right in coming to summer, which is always difficult. So the more night games are better, that's for sure. Can I, Hanti, can I ask about obviously the the the, the five changes that you made? Was that Obviously, a, a reaction from the weekend's game. Um, obviously, Daniel Akpe, one of, of, of the changes coming in. And just your comments. I think it's now been put to bed with the statement from uh, the Court of Arbitration for Sport, putting that whole FIFA saga behind you and looking forward and not having to comment about it uh, all the time. Yeah, look, at, um, I, I, I've been working here for the last month. Uh, and the illusion that I'm not going to get to it. So... So, you know, we're going to make it better. Uh, and we're going to try to improve the team. I mean, um, obviously, we really know that there's certain players in certain positions that we lack, but it is what it is, and I'm just getting on with it. So, one step forward, try and mold players, and we'll go from there. Definitely. The five changes that you made, um, you know, they obviously. The reaction of the weekend, um, um, and you know, I just thought it was a better shape to come away from home and play. Uh, and just, I with the shape and the balance of the team, I thought it would be better. So, but that has a lot to do with it. And we're obviously playing three games a week now, right at the start of the season. The season that's fine, when you get into Africa, and then we, you know, you need more momentum. But we need to just be careful, be careful, you know, and trying to run a team on the ground and then try and play the next game without. Without rotating a little bit, um, I don't think so, um, Chad. I don't think so. I think um, the problem is, you know, I, we haven't had a proper preseason. I think uh, Itu came back from a major injury, um, didn't play much, then played right at the end, and then we had two, three weeks, maybe two weeks, three and a half weeks uh, of, of trying to do, trying to get everybody settled in. And uh, Daniel's obviously he had a problem with his um, work permit. Uh, and it came through yesterday. So, you know, I just felt he was certainly ready to play and let's have a look, you know. 
in terms of the confidence, um, surely this is something to build on. Um, looking for forward to the big to the big game on Saturday, different game that it, it will be. Um, but looking at um, the positive um, spirit that you showed today, um, it surely brings something to to the camp. Yeah, look, I'm not on the weekend. Uh, you know. I heard from sources that we should have lost six or five or six more. They scored a goal from a penalty, from a corner. Uh, and we had some good opportunities ourselves. So I thought a little bit of pride. And I saw, I saw that tonight. And, um, you know, anyone, anytime, anyway, we wouldn't say breach confidence, but certainly keeping in a better perspective uh, for next game. The next game happens to be on, on Saturday. So really... Um, I was more embarrassed about Saturday than anything else from a personal perspective. But it's history now. Yeah, yeah. that's my first we played, and it's good for my eye. I think the football we played today was some excellent football at times. Um, and, you know, our mission tonight is really comfortable, and that, that's what we try and, you know, we're trying to get obviously with energy to get up and support and defend and. You know, I, I don't like defensive midfield players or attacking midfield players. I like, I like them. They must have, you know, they must be tough. They must be able to do both jobs. So I don't. It's not my. It's not my way. It's never been my way. So hopefully, um, you know. But every as I said, every game will give you different problems. You know, they you know, didn't press as much um, them. So the next game we could be pressed, and now we'll be play out of those situations. But it's all a learning curve for school, certainly um, a lot of the players. Well, uh, you know, I, no, I won't say much to him. If he, but if he drops below the standard, then, you know, he can play. So he knows. But every young player will go through that ups and What he does off the ball is the most important thing. I mean, he's got so much ability, the boy. Um, he could have scored tonight. And he's had two, three chances in the last two, three games as well to score. So that's the next step of the, you know, that he's got to take. But also what he's got to do, he's got to be better without the ball. And that those are things that, you know, he's got to have that in him. I, I can only give him the platform and show him and, and, and explain to him and, and coach him, you know, but um, it's up to the boy. Um, and, you know, what we must do, and we do too much in South Africa, they have one good game and then we blow them up. You know, we've got to keep his feet in the ground and, uh, and really demand more from him. And she's got, I think he's got more in him. But ability, we can't, you know, we can't just have players with ability, we've got to have players with doing the right things. And, um, Let's take it one step at a time with him, you know. But he's played three games now. I, I was only there a week, and I, I put him straight in, and he's played three games. But I think the next step is, as I say, to try and get on the score sheet. Well, he's a little bit frustrated, um, you know. Any any strike would be a little bit frustrated. He hasn't scored. He didn't score much, you know, in the last sort of the last couple of games. So, you know, he's got to do a little bit more simpler, simplify the game a little bit more. Even in the second half, he tried to get too clever. But to be fair, you know, in three games now, he's had a good couple of chances. Um, as long as he keeps working on it, there's another one. You know, keeps running off the ball, keeps defending, keeps doing the right things. Um, you, you know, he'll keep playing. But, you know, we've got to... We just, I think he just breaks the ice with him. I think he breaks ice. I think he get a couple. And I thought tonight was a chance. I think he hit the post I mean, once or twice. And he had, the second half one was the one he should have scored. He came across the box and he opened up the whole goal. You know, he had people told it there. But yeah, he's doing well, he's working hard. Team first, him second, and then we're okay. You know, that's the most important thing. He can't think of himself. I mean, on Saturday, he tried to shoot from corner flags and things like that, which we can't, it's not acceptable. I told him. So um, he'll, get, he'll get better. As long as he buys in, he'll get better.